four dead and murder suicide that spans three crime scenes in Lynn, Massachusetts. This was originally published on August 24th, 2022 for WCVB.com. Let's go to Lynn, Massachusetts, and let's talk about why this story got a longer article and more news coverage than the several other mass shootings that have happened in the past week alone. Four members of a family died Tuesday in a murder-suicide that spanned three crime scenes, officials said. Investigators have not discussed a possible motive, but a Facebook post may shed light on what led up to the shootings. Essex District Attorney Jonathan Blodgett said Lynn police responded to a 98 Rockaway Street shortly before 2.55 p.m. after receiving a report of shots fired in the area. Blodgett said a 31-year-old woman shot her 66-year-old father and her 34-year-old brother-in-law and then shot and killed her brother-in-law's father, a 56-year-old man. So this article and this story got more attention basically because it was a woman perpetrator believed to be, supposedly, allegedly, whatever, I don't care. It's a shame that this happened and why it happened is even more shameful but the important point of my channel and when I cover mass shootings is to focus on the effects of these mass shootings, how we can prevent them. And the number one way to prevent them is to buy is by mitigating and lowering the amount of guns in America. It's so shameful that the only time a mass shooting, which there have been 500 of in 2022 alone, and a mass shooting is when four or more people are shot. It's so shameful that the only time that they get mass coverage is when something abnormal is about them 20 kids in uvalde 10 people in a supermarket uh, a woman doing a mass shooting a murder suicide usually we see this from men i'll continue reading sources tell wcvb that kose sharifi was the shooter just moments before the shooting she posted on facebook that her brother-in-law physically abused her sister for 14 years and that both sets of parents knew but did nothing to stop it so i want to say that you know abuse in the family sexual abuse physical abuse is not acceptable it's not a reason to kill but once again this goes to show that in the united states of america it's too easy for people to solve their disputes or do crimes of passion or anger when weapons are available in other countries this happens people are abused people are sexually abused people are physically abused and that's not okay the right thing to do is to call the authorities call the police call somebody who can uh charge these people for crimes not to kill them but in the united states too many people get so hot and heated and angry at one moment in life and then commit a horrible heinous crime this is why mass shootings are not about mental health every time a horrible tragic mass shooting where 20 or more people killed and of course america has to pay attention people on the right specifically but generally in america they love to talk about mental health and not actual gun control Real gun control is about mitigating the number of guns in society to stop people who, in the heat of a moment, want to do something heinous and terrible, which is what this person allegedly, supposedly did. Whoever did it, three people are dead, so somebody obviously shot them. And, it, and maybe if it was because of this, for this reason, of sexual, physical abuse, we could have stopped that by having less guns in society, by making it much harder to get them at the very least, okay? I'll continue reading. There's no excuse for what he did. He kept doing it because no one did anything about it, she wrote. The whole mindset of just work it out needs to change because it is not healthy. I will not deal with this nonsense. Blodgett would not comment on a motive. We don't speculate about the motive as we're pursuing this investigation. We have three crime scenes that we're dealing with right now. We'll hopefully come to what we can use as evidence, but again, we don't have a motive yet what i can say which we didn't know until today is that they are family members blodgett said so a gofundme page identified the victims as members of the sharifi family and said they the tragedy was a result of mental health issues whatever whatever let's say supposedly this person was a sick person in the mind maybe she imagined it i'm not alleging that i'm just putting out the hypo hypothesis maybe she imagined that her daughter or friend or what was it her friend's daughter a person she knows her sister her sister was abused maybe she imagined it right and let's say she was mentally unstable this does not give 
the excuse that mental health is the issue for mass shootings. Most of the other mass shootings I cover have nothing to do with mental health. It has to do with heat of the moment. And even if she was mentally unstable, that is not a blind spot. That is not a, a blanket to then cover all mass shootings under the same under the same uh, tree, right? Mass shootings happen because of heat of the moment, stupid Americans having too many access to guns and too many people thinking they can solve their disputes or issues or grievances with weapons, period. Abuse of all types takes a significant toll on individuals affected and leads to damage and loss in many ways. Now two young children are fatherless, a family member wrote. We are absolutely traumatized, heartbroken, and lost. Investigators have not released the victims' names. The 66-year-old and 34-year-old victims were found at the Rockaway address Shortly after 4.25 p.m., a 31-year-old woman was found dead inside her vehicle in the parking lot of the Stop and Shop grocery store at 35 Washington Street. Authorities determined that she died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Stop and Shop is less than a mile away from the shooting scene on Rockaway Street. So this is why this shooting is getting so much more coverage. Of course, every time I cover a murder-suicide with a family like this, which happens far too often, uh, usually it's a male perpetrator, like I said, but this one is getting more coverage because a female did it. And presumably, ba based on the last name, a Muslim or somebody of an immigrant background, maybe Persian, maybe Arab, maybe Turkish, I'm not sure. But that last name sounds very Middle Eastern, I would say. Not that it matters. I'm not trying to say that Muslims or Arabs or Persians or Turks commit violence in America. Uh, disproportionately absolutely not uh american-born citizens are usually the ones who commit these mass shootings and tragedies uh but i will say that uh this is why this this story is somewhat interesting because we rarely actually rarely hear about immigrants or descendants of immigrants second generation right muslims doing this sort of thing all right Muslim women doing this sort of thing. Blodgett said investigators later found the 56-year-old man dead inside a vehicle that was parked outside 44 Lofton Street, which is less than a mile away from the Rockaway Street shooting scene and less than a half a mile away from the stop and shop shooting scene. One Lynn resident said she heard more than 20 gunshots in the neighborhood Tuesday afternoon. After three minutes, over 20 shots, one after another, she said, this is when I went literally on the floor because it was shots. Neighbors said a lot of kids who live in the neighborhood frequently play outside and that they are thankful no one else was injured in the shooting hopefully nobody was in the streets when it was happening but i'm sure some people witnessed it and a lot of trauma happened today said lynn resident shannon kane and that's another thing about these mass shootings when the people who are shot are traumatized even if they survive the people who are dead are definitely more than traumatized they're dead but the people who witness these mass shootings and experience them are traumatized forever forever the kids in Uvalde are traumatized forever the people in the supermarket in tops are traumatized forever the people in that concert at the Las Vegas are traumatized forever and uh you know this pain spreads to all of us even covering these mass shootings has caused me to rethink and I feel rethink a lot of things and i deal with a lot of emotions and this is why sometimes i take breaks between videos because i get too emotional watching these stories of this carnage that continues to happen in america and feeling almost powerless hoping that my voice can make a difference can influence people to change their minds about the gun culture and see that we can have a much safer america but even me just reading the stories that continue to come out from the United States has uh, caused me some PTSD, to say the least. But I'll continue. The shooting is being investigated by Lynn Police, the Essex State Police Detective Unit, and Blodgett's office. So uh, I hope uh, there there's some closure in this uh, tragedy. I hope uh, we as Americans can see that allowing easy access to weapons is only causing more trauma in America. These are three people that, uh, four people that didn't need to die. M maybe there was abuse uh, in the house, uh, but this could have been handled a totally different way. I'm absolutely 1000% against violence in all forms. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, we need to uh, do more in our society to help victims of sexual violence, physical violence, whatever and also help mental health. But most importantly, most importantly, get rid of the guns. Get rid of the guns. Abolish the Second Amendment. My name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching. Peace.